Diabetic retinopathy is a well-known site threatening microvascular complication of diabetes that affects over 90 million people worldwide. But while almost every diabetic patient will develop diabetic retinopathy, visual impairment can be prevented. That said, all diabetics will develop some degree of diabetic retinopathy, but of course it depends on the level of control. So if you've been getting good blood sugar levels, you've been healthy, eating well, exercising, maintaining that stable level, well, usually those patients develop very mild cases um, of diabetic retinopathy and it doesn't go on to blindness. Dr. Celeste Hines. Diabetic retinopathy is caused by high blood sugar levels which damages the retina and can lead to blindness if left undiagnosed and untreated. As such, Dr. Hines believes that a person's sight can be preserved through the effective management of their glucose, blood pressure and cholesterol levels which can be attained when a person adapts a healthier lifestyle. There's a special type of injection of a substance that actually helps to shrink those blood vessels so they don't bleed out like that. All of that um, can help as long as the blood sugar is being controlled. So it has to be managed as a team. It's not just the patient come in, their eyes are okay, but what happened to the rest of their body? In Guyana's food culture, starch is a major part of most meals. However, many diabetic patients are not cognizant to the fact that starchy foods play a major role in spiking their blood sugar level. Many diabetic persons believe that their blood sugar level is only measured by the amount of sugar they consume, but that is not the case, Dr. Hines disclosed. Diabetic retinopathy usually takes several years before it reaches to the stage where it could threaten a person's sight, which is why Dr. Hines is also advocating for early detection. But basically these patients have to be dilated and what we do is take pictures of the back of the eye. Now that is uploaded into a software where we can then you know, have a closer view of, of what the picture that we would have taken of the, of the retina. So then we can examine it bit by bit frame by frame to see if there's any pathology, any, any, any issue. Usually we look for bleeding, swelling, um, deposits of, of, of cholesterol and fat in the eye. Based on statistics, Guyana has the highest prevalence of diabetes in South America. As such, it is estimated that more than 20,000 people suffer from diabetic retinopathy. For the HGP Night News, Kendall Richmond.